Now, how's it going again, guys? OGL Cast here with another video for you. Gonna be editing. This time, I had a buddy come to me and said he uh, needs some elite tokens. And of course, anyone who's been playing, you know, grinding away at it can uh, be tiresome. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn all these zeros into full numbers and go a little further than that. We're gonna basically make it look like it's got unlimited elite token. And I say basically because there still is a value that you set in there that can run out unless you set it high enough. So anyway, first thing we gotta do, grab the files. While we're doing this, I like the jams in the music. Alright, so just like before, we run through the packer. Now we're gonna open them up with our notepad. Alright, and he's asking for the tokens. These are in the SCB as well as the NSB. Just like the cash, gold, keys, and those things. And these would be your restoration tokens. Or components, excuse me. Alright, so first thing we do, we're gonna change all the earned. And to get started here, I think a hundred thousand is a good number. It will end up taking more than that to complete them all. But it's a, it's a good starting point. Uh, we'll do 50,000 for the red, which will probably actually be sufficient. And at least uh, 2,000 for the yellow. Now we got, again, we got to do the same thing in the NSB, but for now I'm done with this. So we'll try and get it out of the way. Here's the section for the aftermarket's earned, or aftermarket parts. Alright, so again for green we did 100,000. The same for, same for blue. 50,000 for the red. And 2,000 for the yellow. Get that minimized and saved. We're on hash on our NSB. Take our CRC number. Copy it in here. And paste it in. I'm going to get rid of this temp. I really don't need it. Game doesn't need it. Minimize. Close. And run it through the packer to repack. Jump out of the game here real quick. Oops. Uh, decrypted F1. Finished. There we go. Copy over 25 digit. SB SCB. Relaunch the game. Now that awkward moment of silence. NSB editing is pretty simple. I mean, once you get playing around with it, you can uh, do a, a lot of different things with it. Whether or not I think it's any better than using like Game Guardian or anything, really, when it comes down to it, the only thing you can't do with Game Guardian is you can't unban yourself. But there's pretty much all the other capabilities. You can't give yourself unlimited tokens, but you can always fill up your 10,000 
spot bin just by hacking the race to win you 10,000. Uh, at least GG you know, allows you to play the game while you're grabbing your goodies. Whereas NSB, uh, there's all this time in between. I think a lot of modders will say it's uh, safer to use NSB, but I started out playing around with Game Guardian before I bothered with NSB, and then even after I started NSB, I still spent a lot of time with Game Guardian just because of the simplicity of it and being in the game, doing it real time. <clears throat> Now, since then, I've done a lot of modding for others, and I do it all through the NSB. It's just uh, a lot easier, I guess, for me when I'm doing other people's accounts, because I'm not going to sit there and play their game for them. But anyway, the moment of truth, the moment you've been waiting to see, so here we go. All his bins are full. If I click. Oh, he hasn't even added, played any yet. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, zero percent complete. That's good. So let's see what happens. Up, oh, still ten thousand. Slow action, and I might have to finally restart my beast. Anyway, you get the point. I mean, I keep spending them. I just keep saying 10,000. It's going to do that until the 100,000 drops underneath the 10,000. So, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Have fun. Don't get banned, but if you do, you can unban yourself. Alright, OG out, chest out.